This clip is brought to you by Within You Supplements. No bullshit, no fillers. Just great tasting supplements to help your performance. Enjoy this clip. Makes sense. Some people don't have a good idea of how important um, your rest interval can be oh, and how huge. important, <laughs> yeah, the... the uh, Are you talking rest interval as far as the training set or the day? See, that's... Yeah, yeah, just a particular, a particular set, you know, like you're... You can get stronger by having a specific uh, time domain associated with your rest interval. Like if you're, let's say you're doing four sets of four and mm -hmm. you have two minutes rest. Well, that's a way different workout than if you just take your time with your four sets of four. Or you're going to be at five minutes rest. Right. That'd even be some ways better for what you're saying. So here's, here's how I break it down. <clears throat> but you can get conditioned through it as well. well. So you could do a two minute rest, right? And you can get yeah. conditioned to so, do tolerate more work in a condensed period so of time. So again- law of accommodation. The body also adapts to rest periods. So in my warmups, I hardly rest at all. Boom, 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 boom. So I'll do 300 reps in 12 to 14 minutes, <laughs> right? Capacity. But when you go to maximal strain, let's say it's a max effort day, what you would do is if you look at ATP replenishment at the cell, it takes anywhere from four to six minutes depending on trainability. So what you would do is on the lighter sets, let's say I'm a 400 pound bencher, 135. I don't need any rest to go to 185, maybe a minute. Yeah. 225, now we're getting half. So now I'm thinking, okay, maybe a couple minutes. 275, now we're in the 60, 70% range, three minutes. When I start getting over 70, 80%, you need a bare minimum of four minutes rest if you're trying to do a max effort day, but you also need to maintain some lack of full recovery because you have to ask yourself again, are you testing or building? And I want to test in a beat up state when I'm not at my perfect rehab because I save that for meets only. Mm -hmm. Well, how long does it? How long do you wait between a bench press and a fucking meet? Fifteen mm -hmm. minutes in a flight, long time. But you're fully recovered. Yeah. So what I find is that I would say on average, I and this is just a general rule of thumb, I try not to rest more than two minutes in training. And if the max effort is very important, it'll go up to four to five minutes between sets as the weights get over 60, 70 percent. So like. Uh, you guys weren't here yesterday, but when I benched 500 with that Cadillac bar I'd never touched before, mm -hmm. I benched 135, did a set of face pulls, rested about 90 seconds, then benched 225 for like five face pulls, rested about 120 seconds. 315, set of face pulls, rested about three minutes. 405, face pulls, rested four minutes. 500, rested five minutes, smoked it. <laughs> But if I'd have just done 90 seconds rest, 135, 225, 315, 405, 500, I probably wouldn't have got the 500. Wow. I just wouldn't have the recovery ability. So on your lighter sets where you don't need the recovery, push the capacity. And then when the weights become important, i.e. the maximum bench, nice. increase the rest so that the cell level has an ability to recover because you can't feel that. Mm -hmm. You know, how many, I don't know how many times on online coaching or just fucking around in the gym and you let somebody to their own devices, especially beginner intermediate guy. And then you watch them warm up and then they miss their lift that they wanted to get that day. Yeah. And then you ask them, how long did you rest? Well, I felt really good. So I just went for it. <laughs> so you're telling me you only rested like a minute between the last set. That's why you missed it. And then you make them rest five minutes and do it again and they'll get it. Mm -hmm. And they're like, what? And I'm like, dude, you, you can't feel when you're ready. It's a fucking biological time clock at the cell. So when the ATP gets you know um, gets drawled out, you, it takes four to six minutes for it to come back to a hundred percent, and I would say even ninety five percent. So rest periods are very important, but remember, don't test all the time. Build, and when you build, you want to keep yourself at a deficit, even in the rest periods. So law of accommodation, or basically doing the same thing too often, don't get caught up in using the same rest periods either. Because again, when's the last time I benched five hundred on an empty stomach with seven hours of flight? Not very often, yeah. but because I trained so fucking crazy, it wasn't a big deal. But how many people have you seen fly in, mm -hmm. they come in and train, and they're like, well, I, uh, I can't do my best today because I just got off the plane. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you see what I mean? My, my body's used to going, ah, he wants to do this shit again, here we go. You know what I mean? It's just burp, turn the switch and go. Yeah. But I still understand rest periods, see? So rest periods are huge. Hey! I know you guys enjoyed the video, so like, comment, subscribe, and head to the Power Project Discord below. Talk to y'all later.